In this section, we're going to create some tags under our TCP IP connection we made to our S7 controller. Tags are how WinCC communicates directly with your process and are used on screens, in alarms, and tag logging. So let's get started. Now I'm going to show you how to create tags under the PLC connection that we've just created. I'll find my tag connection, which is under TCP IP and it's called Paint Booth 2. I'll right click and just choose New Group. Groups are just a way to organize your tags and they kind of act like folders. You don't have to create them, but it's a good way to organize your tags. So we can see that when I have my group highlighted, then I've got my one tab for tags. If we highlight the connection, then we also have a tab that will list all the groups that we have under this PLC connection. So I can highlight process and I can just start typing tag names. So I'll create one called tank one. And we can use the work area to configure this, or we can use the details area to allow us to assign the address. The first thing is the data type. So for this, maybe I want to use something like an unsigned 16-bit value. And then for the address, since it's a PLC tag, this is how we assign the tag to actually look at a memory space in our PLC. And so we just have to know what data block and element that this is. So we'll just say that this is data block 144 word 2 and click OK. So there's my address. We can easily assign it to different groups or even different connections if we want to using the detail screen. So we can create a few more. Let's say that we have a binary called valve on and I would go through the same steps. I would just select the tag. Here for this data type, this is a binary tag. And then our address is going to look a little different because it's a bit. So we say maybe this is in word six, bit one, or we could choose a different bit if we wanted to. For floating point, like current, let's make that a floating point value. And then of course the addressing is going to look even different based on the, the different data type that we have. There's some other great features uh, in WinCC Configuration Studio that I'll show you a little bit later, but it's pretty simple to create tags. We're just going to repeat this process over and over until we get the tags that we want. 